Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. This episode is entitled, How Thoughtfully Designed Prompts Empower Students to Learn New Tech Skills. In my middle school technology class, I aim to foster creativity, critical thinking, and problem solving through well-structured projects that are aligned with real-world challenges. One of the ways I do this is by using prompts that guide students through the learning process, empowering them to take ownership of their projects while mastering advanced technology skills. Here's a look at two prompts I use and how they support students in becoming independent, tech-savvy learners. Prompt one, guiding students to generate project ideas. In the first prompt, students are asked to brainstorm five project ideas based on specific guidelines. For example, they are required to work within the context of UN Sustainable Development Goal, SDG number 13, target 13.2, climate action, and the only tool they can use is the ToonSquid iPad app. Uh, this kind of prompt serves multiple purposes, encourages critical thinking and creativity. The constraints of using a specific app and connecting the project to a global issue push students to think critically about how they can convey important messages through digital animation. It also sparks creativity as they must come up with unique ways to approach the subject matter within the time and resource limitations. Fosters independent learning. The prompt emphasizes that students will need to learn advanced technology skills on their own without direct teacher assistance. This not only builds technical competence, but also teaches them how to research, troubleshoot, and explore new tools independently a crucial skill in the digital age. Enhances time management skills. Students are made aware of the project's time constraints from the beginning. By setting clear boundaries, seven weeks with 2.5 classes per week, they are encouraged to develop time management skills, planning their learning and production process efficiently to ensure they meet the deadline. Sabra so, promotes teamwork and collaboration. The prompt highlights that the student is part of a team. This structure encourages collaboration and communication as each student will have to coordinate with their team members to complete a cohesive and successful project. Through this first prompt, students are given the framework to come up with innovative project ideas while being challenged to push their technical and creative boundaries. Prompt two, creating a comprehensive learning plan. Once students have chosen a project idea, the second prompt helps them develop a detailed learning plan that guides their work through the entire project cycle. This prompt does much more than set students on a path to project completion. It teaches them how to strategically approach complex tasks. Here's how. Deepens understanding of global challenges. By connecting the project to UN SDG goals, students learn to see the broader impact of their work. For example, in this case, they explore SDG 13.2, which is focused on climate action, encouraging them to consider how their tech skills can contribute to solving global issues. Aligns with educational standards. The prompt requires students to connect their project to ITSE standards for students. This helps them understand how their work meets established learning objectives, such as creativity and innovation, communication, and research skills. Each standard is clearly linked to the project, ensuring students remain focused on learning outcomes. Structured research and skill building. Research is an essential part of any project, and this prompt ensures students are asking the right questions. It guides them through researching relevant topics and provides a checklist of beginner skills, complete with suggested tutorials and resources. This structured approach makes independent learning more manageable and accessible. Focus on quality and competency-based grading. To ensure high-quality outcomes, students follow a detailed quality checklist. They also work towards competency-based grading, 
where they can self-assess their progress using specific yes-no questions. This approach promotes accountability and helps students focus on demonstrating their mastery of tech skills, using the launch cycle for project management. The prompt incorporates the launch design cycle to help students manage their time and tasks effectively. Weekly milestones ensure they stay on track, and defined roles for each team member make collaboration smoother and more productive. This method helps students experience project management in a real-world setting. Reflection and application. Reflection is a key part of the learning process, and this prompt includes questions to help students think critically about their progress and what they've learned. They are also encouraged to think about how they can apply their new tech skills in other subjects such as English, history, or science, reinforcing the idea that these skills have cross-curricular value. Empowering student-centered learning. These two prompts represent my teaching philosophy of empowering students to take control of their learning journey. They guide students through a process of idea generation, independent learning, and project management while aligning with real-world challenges. The result, students not only master advanced tech skills, but also gain confidence, creativity, and a deeper understanding of how technology can be used to impact the world around them. By giving students the tools, structure, and freedom to explore, these prompts help them become lifelong learners, ready to tackle both technical challenges and global issues with creativity and confidence. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating.